introducing Marble from World Labs. Now, World Labs are creating World models. These aren't using LLMs, these are completely distinct models aimed at creating worlds which are editable, exportable, and will be used to train robots and AI agents. So, let's get into the video. Marble was released by World Labs. Now, this was previously released in beta a couple of months ago, but they've now released the full thing. And later in the video, we'll go and we'll actually use it inside of Marble on worldlabs.ai. But first, let's briefly cover what is the release, what is the big deal about this. So, spatial intelligence is called the next frontier of AI because we seem to be peeking out on LLMs. ChatGPT5 has kind of been the biggest flop we've had. And honestly, LLMs don't seem to be getting that much better very incrementally. So the reality of them getting us to AGI feels pretty slim, whereas these world models, these will be teaching other models, even like LLMs, how to interact in the real world. So as you can see here, it reconstructs, generates, and simulates 3D worlds. Some examples, before we go back onto this here, here, for example, is a text to world generation. We also have, let me scroll down, examples here of how you can get before and after so you can add things and change the scene. A better example, actually, to show you is something like, I suppose even here, you can see that it's changing. Here we have some modern slick generated world. And here we have the 3D world that was originally created. There you go, you can see that it's rendered out. So you can change these worlds just so drastically and so much. Um, that it seems to be the next stage of where we're going to go with this stuff. Quick break, if you run multiple accounts, whether that's for AI tools, for clients, for ads, you've probably been banned for no reason. So for this, I've been testing multi-login and I've found it is the easiest, cleanest way to go undetected and still stay organized. Now, multi-login were one of the first to build an anti-detect browser, designing it purely for secure, scalable multi-account management. And now, over a decade later, they've still never been hacked and never had a data breach, which says a lot. Now, you can spin up browser profiles that look and behave just like real users, complete with residential proxies, Android emulation, and even team sharing all inside one app, so no more juggling a bunch of providers. It also works with Puppeteer and Playwright, so you can automate workflows if you're building AI-driven systems or managing client accounts at scale. Try it risk-free for three days for only $1.99 and get 50% off with my code AILOOK50 using the link below. And if you ever need any help, they've got 24-7 multilingual support backed by over 10 years of expertise. And that's Multilogin, the anti-detect browser that just works. Anyway, back to the video. So a few months ago, they released Preview, but now they've got the real deal here. And the real one now has multi-modal built in, right? So it can create these 3D worlds from text, from images, videos, or even course 3D layouts. You make a little layout and you can then build upon that. And you can interactively edit, expand, and combine worlds. You can modify the world that you're currently in across time, which is mental. And then you can actually export them, whether that's as Gaussian splats, meshes, or videos, i.e. is it gonna be worlds you can use at a game, or do you want videos for a movie, or you know whatever it may be. Now, they're also launching Marble Labs, which is the creative hub where imagination meets experimentation. And this here has actually just dawned on me. This will possibly be why Sora has been released, because then you, they can start moving towards this world labs type of thing, this world generation. Because really, the, the whole thing with being at the front of AI is, remember, AI is not LLMs or are not. LLMs are a subset of AI and they are a specific subset which predict the next world. Whereas this here, these are supposed to predict or create worlds. And so they have a completely different way in which they work, which maybe we'll go into more in the channel. Let me know if you want to know more about that. But the idea I mean in here is that for ChatGPT or OpenAI to be at the forefront of, of AI, they're going to need to expand into these other areas. So yeah, text to image, multi-image to video. So here you have, here's the front and here's the back. So front and back images. And you can see here that it's created an entire room with this is the front and then this other side is the back and it's fully 3D experiential. This is crazy. I have my Oculus is downstairs, but I was really impressed with the Oculus. And when I was coming into, you know, tech 
um, generally in trying to find where am I interested in, where do I want to work. I always found the idea of digital twins cool, the idea of working in factories and stuff, but through the Oculus. Um, anyway, looks like you can do that kind of stuff and then editing the worlds as well. So, without further ado, let's go and let's try it out. So, welcome to Marble. So, here's some 3D worlds that already exist. Let's um, make one to see how it actually works from the get-go. So first let's head to Gemini and we'll get it to create an image. So let me just, so let's just create an inside of a cathedral and then we'll pass this cathedral image into marble and we'll see if we can make it a fully, you know, move about kind of one, which is cool. I had actually an idea for fully, what were the words there? But anyway, let's just copy this and we'll copy that image. Maybe need to save it. Let's see. Nope, there we go. Create this. Or I suppose it should just know, shouldn't it? Let's click create and see what it does. So if we go to view and worlds here, we can have our worlds, our light worlds, which will be pretty cool. And we have this one here, which is currently generating. Whilst that's generating, let's go and have... I thought it was done there already. Uh, let's go and have a look at the other worlds that we have here. So let's go to some fantasy worlds here. So let's click on this one. I'm always, you know, a bit kind of... Whoa, what the heck's going on here? This is crazy. It must be because it's still loading it up. For context, I'm using a 4G router right now because I don't have internet. Whoa, hey, that's so cool. I don't really believe in demos normally because I think they can just be pre-made. So that'll be interesting to see how it creates the one that I've asked it to do. Whoa, I'm under the world. Uh, open VR. Let's see if we can update it here. So, studio, maybe? Oh, hey, record footage, that's cool. So you can record footage inside these worlds. You can download the world for all of this. We just need to upgrade our plan, that's fair enough. Share the world, share the link, VR link. Um, studio, let's go to studio, open a new project, and we'll see if we can modify this. Whoa. That is cool. Um, so can I just update it by by words? So I can select this by a brush. So it's now selected. How do I modify? Uh, but I want to add some stuff. So can I add? I don't want to import a world. I don't think I want to update this world. So let's just. Let's just try something. Make it green. But it may go and try and make a new world, which is not what we want. Yeah, there we go. It's creating a new world. So I don't know if I can actually edit it in here. Remove the world. This one's still generating. Now let's open up some realistic one. So this here, grass, leaves. This could be a good example for realism. I like how this loads in. That's so slick. Whoa, very nice. All right, so it's obviously AI. You know, it doesn't look, or like, it's kind of bad graphics. But the editability of it is, uh, not editability, the, the interactivity of it is cool. Although I can't go through things. Oh, no. Is this because it's not loading because of my internet, or what's going on here? Let's give it a minute. See, we'll let it render out. But, I mean, I think right now it's cool, but it's nothing really more than cool. So it's really quite cool, but I think it has this same problem of like vibe coding, which is it's infinite. You can just be like, make me a world, and then it'll just go make a world. But if you want to really make it specific, like, you know, when they're creating GTA 6, maybe they're waiting for this, for GTA 6. But basically, if, if you're trying to make GTA 6, you'd have something really in mind that you want to do. Same with, you know, designers of websites. They know exactly what they want it to look like, exactly. And that's where... You know, this stuff can really be leveraged. But for normal people like you and me, we're going to just be making little worlds here and there. And it's going to be super cool until they become really, really realistic. And then you're just going to... Hey, that should be realistic. Hmm, not really. Kind of. But then we're just going to get to a point where we're like, you know, what's the point in making all of these these worlds and stuff? Um, Just so they can train robots so the robots can take over the world. Ah. Finally, it has made our world, so it took definitely more than 10 minutes. It actually took so long I forgot about it. What about my day now I'm back again? So, I can't download it, unfortunately, but 
let's use the original picture. Let's see what it's done here. So open this up. Let's view the world. Looks world. Party time. Nice wee bubbles again. Looking cool. Whoa. Whoa. Hey, that is cool. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Looks good, doesn't it? Let's look up. What's going on? It's moving like back to front. <clears throat> anyway, looks very nice. Let me. But does it look like this? Kinda. But it's remade the floor to look different, which I think is an important feature. As you can see here, floor is completely different. This centerpiece up at the top seems to not exist. We'll go forward and see if it's just a rendering issue. So we're walking down the aisle here, which is cool. And we'll give it a minute to see if it renders up. This is the longest aisle I've ever seen. It looks cool on the other side, to be fair, with the glass windows, but it seems to be kind of stuck. I can't move or anything. Let me return to origin. Well, hmm, I wonder if it's my dodgy connection or what it is, but it's uh, it's cool. It's definitely cool. That it can do all of this stuff, considering you normally couldn't do any of it. But it's not perfect. Um, it'd be nice if we can now, you know, create some advancement on this, where it becomes like, you know, whether objects are hard or soft, or whether you can go through them or not. Um, I think that would be interesting. Look at all these extra oh, features it's created. Not that I can see them. Anyway, hope you liked the video. If you did like, comment, subscribe. Bye.